What does atheism actually mean? If you look for an answer here on YouTube, you'll pretty much find the same one across the board. Atheism. Atheism is only the lack of belief in the existence of God or gods. It is a lack of belief in God. A lack of belief in God. Someone who lacks a belief in God. So if you are an atheist, it's just simply lacking that belief. A lack of a belief in a particular deity. All it means is I lack belief in a deity. God. God. Atheism is a lack of belief in God. Atheism is non-belief in the existence of a deity. It doesn't make assertions, and it doesn't in any way address knowledge. You'll find the same definition used by the activist organization, American Atheists. But if you look at a general dictionary, you'll already see a significant departure from this definition. The friendliest dictionary to this definition is Oxford Dictionaries, whose definition is the first one to pop up on Google disbelief or lack of belief in the existence of God or gods. While it includes the definition of atheism as a lack of belief, it also expresses atheism as a disbelief in deities. Merriam-Webster likewise defines atheism as a lack of belief or a strong disbelief in the existence of a god or any gods, but also as the philosophical or religious position characterized by disbelief in the existence of a god or any gods. Keeping with this definition, Cambridge Dictionaries defines atheism as the belief that God does not exist. However, general dictionaries are not inerrant and, in this case, have competing definitions. But if you look at specialized or technical dictionaries and encyclopedias, you'll typically see an even stronger difference in definition from the ones provided by popular atheist YouTubers and activist organizations. The Blackwell Dictionary of Philosophy says that atheism is the belief that God does not exist. The Cambridge Dictionary of Philosophy defines atheism as the view that there are no gods. A widely used sense denotes merely not believing in God and is consistent with agnosticism. A stricter sense denotes a belief that there is no God. This use has become the standard one. And standard it is. But Steve, don't you get it? In academic philosophy, atheism is defined as the belief that no gods exist. <laughs> That's exactly right, Steve. In philosophy, the standard use of the word atheism is to express the proposition that no god or god exists. According to the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy, perhaps the highest esteemed online philosophy encyclopedia today, the A in atheism must be understood as negation instead of absence, as not instead of without. Therefore, in philosophy at least, atheism should be construed as the proposition that God does not exist, or more broadly, the proposition that there are no gods. By the way, this entry was written by Paul Draper, one of the foremost atheist philosophers in the world right now. And since it stands to reason that those who self-describe as an atheist get to define their own position. The Rutledge Encyclopedia of Philosophy's entry on atheism, written by William Rowe, a renowned atheist metaphysician, defines atheism as the position that affirms the non-existence of God. It proposes positive disbelief rather than mere suspension of belief. The Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy describes atheism as the view that there is no God. Again, another entry written by an atheist philosopher, Michael McCormick, that specializes in the philosophy of religion, specifically atheism. Atheists get to define their own position. Encyclopedia Britannica designates atheism as, in general, the critique and denial of metaphysical beliefs in God or spiritual beings, contrasting it to agnosticism, which here is defined as leaving open whether or not there is a God. Yet again, an entry written by a distinguished atheist philosopher and apologist, Kai Nielsen. The Oxford Companion to Philosophy defines atheism as ostensibly the doctrine that there is no God. Ismbook.com describes it as an active disbelief in the existence of gods, deities, and supernatural powers. Contrasting it to agnosticism, here described as a skeptical attitude toward the existence of gods but not proclaiming disbelief. Philosophy Pages says that it is the belief that God does not exist. And I also went to an online etymology dictionary which, just the same, described it as the doctrine that there is no God. Lastly, Graham Oppie, an atheist philosopher of religion, whom William Lane Craig, philosopher, theologian, Christian apologist, and famous public debater, has described as, I think the most formidable atheist philosopher writing today, says that those who suspend judgment on the existence of gods are agnostics, whereas atheists believe that there are no gods. Now, although this is the standard definition in philosophy, there are some technical resources that define it differently. For example, the Oxford Dictionary of Philosophy expresses it as either the lack of belief that there exists a god or the belief that there exists none. In the Cambridge Companion to Atheism, the late atheist philosopher of religion Michael Martin writes that an atheist is someone without a belief in God. He or she need not be someone who believes that God does not exist. So although the standard definition of atheism is the belief or proposition that there is no god or gods, 
As the Encyclopedia of Philosophy states, no definition of atheism could hope to be in accord with all uses of this term. But one wonders why, then, is the non-standard use of atheism, as mere lack of belief, the standard usage among so many popular atheist YouTubers, especially among those that style themselves as intellectuals. Some just seem to be genuinely unaware of the standard definition, while some others seem to be motivated by an avoidance of a burden of proof. Atheists don't inherently have a burden of proof. Capiche? Formally speaking, in logic, as a discipline of philosophy, any truth claim bears a burden of proof. Atheism, in its propositional expression of there existing no deities, is a truth claim. Thus, technically speaking, bears a burden of proof, just as does theism. Certainly in the context of a debate or intellectual sparring, it's much easier and far more comfortable to play the role of a mere judge of arguments with no case of your own necessary to make. And for this reason, in my experience, many atheists prefer to use the term to express a mere lack of belief, despite, when pressed further, actually believing that the proposition that no god or gods exist likely expresses a true proposition. Now, I love debate. I think it's great. However, in the context of an honest and trusting conversation about how both and all parties see the world and how they came to their respective worldviews, there need not exist this pressure to prove your position correct or to prove another's wrong. When it's not a competition, there is no intellectual vulnerability or prominent possibility of an unwanted paradigm shift. And it is precisely this lack of threat which creates a circumstance for true communication and understanding. Now, with all that said, Personally, I'm fond of the definition of atheism as the metaphysical position that reality is such that it neither contains divinities nor is itself divine. That way it includes not only a rejection of monotheism and polytheism, but also pantheism. But that's just me. The biggest thing in all of this, the most important thing, is that the person or persons with whom you are speaking understand what you mean by the term, however you decide to use it. Hey, but alright, what is your understanding of the term atheism? You can let me know in the comment section down below if you want to get proven wrong. Now, also, don't you forget, don't you freaking forget to drop a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get updates on new videos. And also, share this video in places with people or at spots at parties that might harbor some of the misunderstandings surrounding this issue. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, until next time, I tell you, peace.